Hello, dear colleagues. I'm glad to welcome you to the first broadcast of OTM. It's an opening session. Online travel mod. As usual, in the autumn season, we are opening it. And we will tell you about the upcoming trends, about what our partners have prepared for you. We are planning to have a comprehensive program. Here I have Nadia Ebel at the Profit uh, Travel Analytical uh, Center. Hello. So we are starting now. I think the whole work of Profit, profit uh, Travel over the month, we want to talk about this. We want to talk about business program, about our participants. So please, the video about our team. Global, safe, and relevant about new reality of tourism. Profit Travel is presenting new major professional event of the season, international online exhibition of outbound tourism, online travel mark, winter 2021. This season, it will have a record, record breaking number of participants, 14 broadcasts, 100 hours of presentations, more than 90 exponents, including 15 global destinations. Representatives of Europe and Asia, countries of Arab world, the Caribbean and Indian Ocean. The partners of OTM are Greece, Hungary, Poland, Riga, Belarus. The exhibition is supported by Pacific Asia Travel Association, Focus Right, leading analytical agent, Amadeus Global Tourist IT Holding, Association of National Tourist Offices Russia, and Russian Union of Travel Industry, as well as Radio Travel Professional Community. First, um, the program with aspects of world-class uh, level. We will talk about the prospects of industry, forecast, new reality of Russian travel industry, as well as expert talk about airlines, tour operators, and tour agencies. It is a must-have for everyone who wants to create a business for the travel industry. We are starting the exhibition. We will talk about what changed, what tourists are going to see in this industry, clearly and honestly about the main things, how tour operators and tour agencies are changing their places, what the regulators think about this, what is the demand thing, what's going to happen to rates, what new safety measures will be implemented. Countries are being open. So let's find out how can we meet demands of tourists. In days, we will start with experienced representatives. We will have coffee break with the director, talk about uh, different things and how we're going, what prospects we're going to have. Also, we'll hear about novelties from 15 destinations from Tokyo to Jamaica. Five uh, companies will be partners of our exhibition. Greece National Tourism Organization will talk about instant solutions. Hungary representatives will talk about our recreations in Budapest. Poland uh, Tourism Organization will tell you how to have a leisure travel in Poland during Christmas fairs. Uh, Riga Bureau or Tourism Bureau will talk about its solution and Belarus will talk about cultural activities in it. We are happy that during these hard times we can give you safe and convenient platform for promotion and business communication. We expect uh, at least 4,000 uh, participants of the exhibition. We are starting right now. So tune in and let's talk about the season that will start the scene for the upcoming season. Actually, today and upcoming three weeks, we're going to have a comprehensive program. We will have important topics, talk about trends, we will present novelties of products in different areas. They are not available yet. We hope it will happen soon. Also, today, we will have uh, Tom Chumak will talk to Ross Tourism and Ross Patrepnadzor, also uh, market agents. They will talk about situation, how it's changing in travel industry. So 
the exhibition is being open together with OTM. So I would like to uh, welcome uh, our speakers, Sergey Moldovan, Project Development Manager, Riga Tourism Development Bureau. Vitaly is Brisov, Head of Business Development, the Hungarian National Tourist Office. Magdalena Krush, Head of the Moscow-based Polish Tourism Organization. Georgi Mavromat, Marketing Specialist of the Greek National Tourism Organization. Elena Lichkovic, Deputy Director, Head of Marketing Department on the National Tourism Agency of the Republic of Belarus. Hello, dear colleagues. Great to see you. We know uh, the boundaries are still not open. The situation is uh, turbulent. At OTM, we will talk about how the situation will change. We will tell that destinations, what they have for tourists. And I want to say that boundaries have been opened. And we wait for this. Not only we, not only our clients, but also uh, our agency companies in those countries, which countries we are presented at this exhibition. So, this exhibition, before uh, recovery of travel industry, we are looking forward to its um, uh, quick recovery. Yeah, I agree with you. We hope that it will come through. Sergey, I would like to ask you. So, Riga, before the pandemic, there were a lot of prospects. There was a focus on Russian region. Are you going to continue this strategy or you want to change it somehow? What's happening in the travel industry in Riga? Hello, everyone. First of all, I want to say hello to all uh, listeners and participants. We know that you like to come to Riga, and we hope you can do it again soon. We will be happy to see you in our city. Thank you very much, the organizers, for having me in online format. It's very important to share ideas in this hard time. I wish you all health. And back to your question. I would like to mention Russian market was always of huge importance for us. Russian tourists are one of the leading positions, have one of the leading positions. Those who go to Riga, it's almost 20% of those tourists that come to us. Last year, it's been almost 350,000 people. Today, we live in hard times. We cannot have tourists right now. But our strategy, strategy of our bureau, is still the same. We are going to work in the area of development, and, as we mentioned, we already started to work, we started to develop and our work in regions of Russia, not only in the capital, Moscow and St. Petersburg. From Moscow to Riga, in good days, usually, uh, 12 air flights were formed. It was quite a lot. The same for St. Petersburg. But in recent years, our national air agency, together with them, we start to work with regions. We have new air flights to Kazan, Kaliningrad, Sochi. We plan that in April we will have an air flight to Yekaterinburg. I went through the presentation in Yekaterinburg and it didn't happen, but next summer we expect many of these directions, regional directions will still be implemented, will work, and we as a bureau, we try our best, we will try our best to show the residents, the companies, that it is safe to come to us, that there are direct flights, and when it's possible, we will be ready to welcome our guests.
Спасибо большое, Сергей. А расскажите, что происходит в Риге? Thank you, Сергей. Пока такая, What happening in Riga while are you trying to recollect your forces trying to Maybe you have some new ideas about да, совершенно правы, мы, конечно, эта вся ситуация Absolutely. заставила нас задуматься, заставила In нас поработать немножко в направлении. Но я должен uh, отметить, что в последнее время, в этот сезон, Латвия like mention, в списке самых безопасных стран. During the summer, our country uh, was in the list of the safety. We had one of the lowest percentage of those who were sick. I think it was due to the measures that were taken immediately. It was made possible for the city to leave a regular Riga life. Unfortunately, a lot of tourists were not able to come. But there were a lot of countries uh, and a lot of people came from them. We had usually three events, like gastronomical events, being now of modern country. We did it, uh, taking all safety measures. We showed that it is possible to travel, but you need to take all these measures. To, and even though a lot of tourists came to Latvia, it did not contribute to the number of sick people. If everyone is serious about this, if all measures are taken, if it's important for guests, and residents as well. It's important for an image, for an image of safe tourism. As for new products, I would like to focus on mice. No, when boundaries are open, now regular tourism, weekend tourism is going to recover quite soon. At the same time, business tourism will have to need some time to cover. We tell that major conferences, MICE events, will be caused not, but in Riga we work on this. In our city now, it's kind of a hybrid place, place where you can have different events. We work together with major conference centers, and at one of them, and we are going to present our hub, so-called hub. There, we will be able to have hybrid events, where you can have 100, 200 people. It's all according to the uh, regulations. And all the other participants will uh, take part online. It's not only our feature. But I want to mention, Riga is quite close to a lot of European capitals, to Russia. The focus of business tourism will be to have these events in those places where you can go easily, where you don't need to have long-time flights. And uh, thus we can see Riga as an Eastern hub where we can ha hold the event both for Russian business uh, travel and uh, connect them with the Western Europe. All the security measures necessary for this are being developed and special protocols are there of the uh, convention centers and for the hotels. And we can see that's a kind of a niche which Riga could take as soon as it becomes possible. Thank you, Sergei.
Нет, я думаю, что мы будем продолжать, потому что 20... Well, I believe that we are going to continue because on the 28th of October we have a special day for Riga at this discussion. The last time I was in 2018 there in Riga and I was pleasantly surprised that there appeared a lot of Czech hotels, but uh, the charm of the old Riga is still there. So in the last year, in November, I managed to be in Riga uh, on the connection flight. Uh, I was flying uh, by Air Baltica from Moscow, and I valued the new connection. And thank you, Sergei. And now I invite you, uh, Vitaly, uh, as Brisov, the uh, head of the business uh, development, the Hungarian National Tourist Office. Mm. Uh, dear colleagues, we are still uh, in the situation, indefinite situation, and it's not clear when the borders will open. But in general, the uh, resorts and the cities of Hungary are perfect. Uh, over the year, and if we uh, see the open borders in winter, what uh, travelers can expect uh, in Hungary, and what uh, are the popular places you can uh, mention? Uh, can you hear me well? Okay. Uh, good day, uh, Nadezhda and Alexey. I'm happy to see you and hear you. Uh, good day, dear colleagues who uh, can hear us on air. Uh, this uh, long-awaited online exhibition uh, 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 I think that in this time we are all accustomed to this new format, online uh, shows, exhibitions, and uh, we are looking forward to seeing one another uh, live, but still we have wait uh, the opening of the borders. It's quite right, Alexei. As to the winter Hungary and uh, resorts in Hungary, about travel industry in Hungary at the moment, the infrastructure works perfectly, but only for the internal uh, travel travelers, because the um, uh, travel flow was rather weak uh, from other countries. But nevertheless, the internal, the domestic uh, traveling helped us very much. There are so many people who visited the Hungarian resorts and uh, visited the sites, interesting and historical sites. It was not only during the summer, but also continues now. My mom uh, in, in Mishka re region was yesterday, and she mentioned that there were so many tourists, uh, travelers who are um, enjoying the uh, good weather and uh, the uh, natural uh, sites. Uh, Hungary actively supports the travel industry. We are getting interested in our own countries, and we are proud of the beauty of this country. And suddenly we are looking forward to showing all these uh, beauties to you, dear colleagues. In this uh, in, uh, year, we had uh, two main new products. Uh, both of them uh, will be very important after opening the borders. The first uh, product is the uh, uh, health uh, tourism. Uh, uh, the uh, heavy lake, uh, the thermal, uh, thermal uh, lake, and uh, the resort Adikus, which is uh, uh, very close to Debrecen uh, um, city. Uh, so the health uh, care traveling uh, will be very important and has been always uh, very important for Hungary. And suddenly, uh, uh, the more so that uh, now um, most uh, many many uh, travelers are focused on health care. Health care and safety is the most important thing for all the resorts in Hungary. Uh, they will always uh, follow the highest standards of safety of tourism. And the second uh, product is the wonderful capital Budapest and its surroundings. Uh, 
Uh, and so when the borders will open, when it becomes uh, possible, then the, uh, uh, these, these surroundings, these, these uh, neighborhoods will become a very special uh, offer, uh, the uh, pedestrian works and visiting the uh, tours and certainly gastronomic tours, uh, uh, Hungarian wine, which is uh, uh, appreciated by all the uh, travelers from all over the world when the uh, borders are open uh, well uh, it will be there, but unfortunately, at the moment, we have nothing um, at the moment to, 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 to um, in, uh, uh, offer uh, to our uh, partners because uh, uh, Hungary is still uh, closed, but Russia has always been and will uh, be wa uh, one of the most important countries uh, for uh, Hungarian travel industry. Uh, you have not mentioned uh, the swimming pools uh, in Hungary, which are, uh, or provide a very special type of uh, leisure uh, when you go to this uh, thermal source practically in the city center, it's a special uh, pleasure. Uh, can you uh, tell us how the infrastructure, uh, uh, traveling infrastructure in Budapest and in Hungary are of function functions. I was uh, there recently, uh, though the country is closed, but everything is operating. Uh, how does it work at the moment, and what limitations are there in force? At the moment, we can uh, divide it into two um, uh, sections. Uh, you were speaking about uh, Hungarian uh, traveling. Uh, the first thing is Budapest, because it was really hit by this coronavirus. Um, many tourists were foreigners, but uh, still, the infrastructure is there, the bars and restaurants and uh, swimming uh, pools are open. And, uh, Mm, certainly uh, taking into account all the safety and security measures, uh, how hotels are open, but certainly uh, the um, capacity, the, 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 the load of the hotels is very, uh, has decreased drastically. And the other part of this is uh, other regions of Hun Hungary. Uh, 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 Hungarians are fond of traveling over the country. Now it's autumn and uh, they are gathering uh, grapes and there are many festivals on the open air and uh, uh, we certainly want to uh, get our citizens protected. Uh, the infrastructure is there, it operates, and uh, but it, it's there's still some, some expectation in the air. As soon as it gets open, uh, we will be uh, very welcoming uh, all the travelers who wish to visit our country. And I know that the time is limited, but I would like to use this moment and invite uh, all the listeners, all the participants to our stand and uh, the visits uh, uh, on, on the 27th of September, uh, of uh, October, uh, um, uh, our stand and ask the questions. Uh, there will be a lot of important and uh, uh, information and uh, study Hungary on the 27th of October from one o'clock Moscow time. I, uh, I wait. I am waiting and inviting all those who wish to visit our scale uh, project, which has been open together with Profit Travel. L, and uh, I'm confident the borders will open again, and there will be time for you to travel over Hungary. And uh, the more enjoyable it will be. Uh, uh, to meet uh, um, people who are waiting for all the new uh, guests. Thank you, Vitaly. And now I invite my Magdalena Kruc, uh, who represents uh, the Polish uh, Tourism Organization. The Day of Poland uh, is uh, waiting for us tomorrow on the 13th of October. And there are a lot of various uh, products from ski, um, uh, leisure to uh, mountain, uh, mountaineering, 
hearing, and uh, I uh, understand, uh, Magdalena, that you are uh, looking into not only winter, but also to the uh, 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 next summer. And what are the products uh, which you would uh, focus on, the most interesting ones which uh, the people could focus on? Mm, good day. Dear colleagues uh, and Nadia, thank you for the opportunity uh, of becoming a partner of such a wonderful exhibition. And I'm happy to uh, greet everyone on behalf of the Polish Tourism Organization on this opening. Pandemics has brought in the changes on the touristic market and the security and safety uh, standard uh, measures uh, and the sanitary standards uh, have become most uh, important. Uh, so the individual uh, travel and small groups uh, traveling are becoming uh, most popular uh, these days. And for this type of accommodations, uh, we can offer the active um, leisure and uh, health uh, uh, leisure. Uh, we have many um, uh, wonderful resorts with a state certification who offer all kind of uh, health procedures and um, uh, special, uh, well, uh, mineral uh, water sources and spa, etc., etc. As to winter, uh, certainly, uh, uh, skis are very, very popular. Our mountains are not that high, but if we uh, compare the uh, landscaping uh, beauties, uh, then they do not uh, lag behind. They, they are uh, more safe. Uh, maybe they are less sportive, but they pro provide a very good uh, rest and a lot of impressions, great impressions. And I would like to mention one uh, other modern trend, which is uh, the uh, city slow, uh, which uh, covers 160 uh, destinations over the world, including uh, uh, nine Polish ones. Uh, we also can see a big interest towards non-standard uh, travel, traveling. In Poland, uh, tourists are interested in special places, uh, theme, uh, theme programs, uh, maybe to uh, visiting places related to Federico Chopin. Uh, and uh, everything can be found uh, on our uh, website, uh, uh, Poland, uh, uh, travel. The Polish uh, operators uh, suddenly uh, experience uh, hard times uh, nowadays, uh, but they offer the prog uh, programs for any taste, for any purse. And uh, I want to uh, draw your attention to the uh, Polish resorts. And here, the Polish uh, travel uh, company are very uh, well um, prepared to having Russian tourists and they will uh, follow uh, the travelers from the very first day of their stay in Poland to the very end. Uh, also, the tradition of uh, fairs uh, on main uh, uh, plazas of uh, all the big Polish cities, Warsaw, Gdańsk, Poznan, and others. Um, you can see uh, these fairs with illumination, and you can buy the sweets and uh, leather, uh, some things made out of le uh, uh, leather, uh, cotton, or any other materials. And I also want to invite you to uh, the uh, uh, Polish day tomorrow at the exhibition. Uh, we are going to have the webinars of our partners, the representatives of Polish resorts and uh, uh, travel companies, and they will give you the information about our new products uh, and offers in uh, big detail. And I want uh, to emphasize that we are looking forward to opening the borders and we are 
always, as always, ready to have the Russian tourists. Thank you, Magdalena. Small question. Vitaly has just mentioned that Hungarians are traveling over Hungary today. Perhaps in Poland, the domestic tourism is also something that supports the travel industry. Can you tell us a little bit in more detail how the travel infrastructure feels uh, today in Poland, the tour operators, how they feel, and what are the changes which have to take uh, be taken into account by Russian uh, travel agents. Like in other countries, as uh, to domestic tourism in summertime, yesterday I heard and also watched that Summer uh, went very well in all the hotels and pensions and on the shores and in the mountains. There were a lot of domestic uh, travelers. As to the city hotels and city infrastructure, it is not that uh, simple, it's not that easy. Uh, they are lacking foreign uh, travelers. Uh, though everything is open, hotels, restaurants, uh, but um, uh, the um, uh, it is uh, still they lack tourists, uh, and there are tourists. Uh, if there are uh, tourists who want to spend their um, vacations in Poland, certainly, uh, certainly we are waiting for them. Uh, thank you, Magdalena. Uh, uh, how Gdańsk uh, of Wroclaw, Krakow, Warsaw, they sound very, very tasty. Uh, and immediately, uh, one wants to go there and uh, let's take uh, the virtual uh, tickets and uh, from uh, Poland uh, go to sunny Greece. Hello, Georgi. Greek is one of those countries where the flights are uh, discussed. That there is a discussion about recovery of flights. We know that Greece is not about beaches. And that's why we start to think about Athens, usually. At OGM, uh, later we're going to talk about this separately. Georgi, what do you recommend uh, tourists do in Greece during this season? Hello, Alexei. First and foremost, may I thank you um, uh, for having me uh, may I wish good luck to everyone, to participants and colleagues. We are living in hard times and we hope that this winter season will go much smoother rather than summer season. For Greece, it was a heavy blow. Alexei, I may argue with you. Of course, Greece is traditionally uh, something about like recreation in summer, but still, you can go there in winter as well. You can swim in winter, in Athens, for example. It all depends on uh, from, uh, from which country the tourist comes. I had an opportunity to come to Yakutia in Russia in winter. It was minus 40 degrees Celsius. I talked to uh, the, uh, the woman that was there. I asked her, like, like temperature is kind of warm now, right? And she says, right, if there is no ice, you can swim then. As for numbers, Greece was visited by some 3.5 million tourists. We think it's a good number because there is a lot of restrictions. It's 10-15% of the flow that we usually have. We can say that people that I talked to, those who went to Greece this year, they liked the sea. It was clean and very wonderful. And we think it's going to be even better. We are going to wait for more tourists in winter. Moving on and talking about this winter. 
I would like to say, Athens is a kind of a hub. On the same level, on the same level, the city of Saloniki. And tourists can choose any city of these two. They can uh, go anywhere from them in Greece. And this winter, tourists are going to see Acropolis. This is the highlight place, landmark place. And when you are in Athens, you should definitely see it. Museums, walks. And if we're talking about close places to Athens, like 40 minutes uh, away from Greece, there are some key uh, recreation places, cultural activity places. There you can see different archaeological um, uh, berries. And this is another advantage for Greece. Like there is a lot of um, uh, good places and objects that you can go and learn something new. One thing that we are promoting right now is agricultural tourism. We, uh, all crops have been gathered this year, so I think next year uh, from, uh, the uh, from the Ministry of Greece we are going to see a lot of efforts in this uh, focused area. Still, Athens is, um, is uh, close to the sea, so it's not only about agriculture, it's also about fishing. That's why I welcome all the participants to go to Greece in case boundaries are open and try sea fishing. It, it works exclusively, exclusively well in terms of uh, relaxing. On 26th of October, I will talk in more detail about this. I am those. I'm uh, one that uh, was in Greece, but only for a short time. I didn't go to Acropolis, I was in Athens, but according to you, I wasn't there. Yes, you weren't there. You have to go there with me. Okay, it will be my pleasure. Thank you, Georgi. I went to Athens two times instead of you. Well, still, it doesn't mean that you need to cancel going there. Colleagues, we are moving on. Let's get closer to Russia, to the Republic of Belarus. This is one of those countries that is available for travel. Elena Lichimovich, Deputy Director, Head of Marketing Department of the National Tourism Agency of the Republic of Belarus, is here. Hello. Hello, dear colleagues. At the exhibition, there will be some regions of Belarus. Some focus areas are already known, and destinations are known, Ron Vitebsk, Minsk, they are very popular. But can I talk about something less popular, some less popular destinations? What are you going to focus on? Hello again, dear colleagues. Can you hear me well? Right, we can. I'm glad and delighted to see you, even though it's online. So on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, I'm delighted to uh, welcome you. It's our first time at the OTM 2021, and we think we're going to be regular participants, even offline, I think we can, we will have more eye to eye meetings. I would like to mention, we present not only some regions, we present the whole Belarus this time. I'm not going to talk uh, about all of them, but as for novelties, we have echo tours. During these hard times, nothing can heal you better than our our marshes, they are in Vitebsk region, really close to Russia. If you walk along these marshes, 
like smelling this uh, fresh air. And I think you can see how the birds are flying from these marshes to the, to the south. So it is a good opportunity to heal yourself. Another, another destination that is not very popular, but still relevant. It is it's our national parks. Pilavishka Kusha, for example, we are going to present it. The, this program was presented and was implemented to collect forces to and again to recover during hard times. Let's not forget about Mogilovsk region, for example. This is one of the regions where this Slavgorod uh, city cluster. You can visit it. You can learn how to cook cheese, how to uh, have uh, to make honey. And also you can swim in the water resources that are there. And if you do it quite good, if you have great, if you take photos right there, you can say everyone that like you are at Maldives Islands. Then you can say, of course, it's not Maldives, okay, but still you will betray a secret. Okay, it's Belarus. We have spa resorts. Some of them uh, have been popular among Russian tourists and among Western neighbors. I mean, uh, spa resorts and sanatoriums uh, in Belarus, in Gomelsk region. There is a great sanatorium with very good programs, with great um, health improvement techniques. People come there again and again, and they say, I've been there like uh, two weeks, and it's almost like I was born again. And still, our country has a lot of cultural activities. And now we don't have a lot of foreign tourists. We used it and we started to develop domestic travel. We started to develop new projects, new, uh, uh, new routes. We are ready that people will come to Minsk, for example, not only to see and have some traditional tour, but they can also have running tour, uh, motorcycle tour. There is a lot of quests in different regional cities, and we are going to present it on the International Day of Belarus. We will have and find new partners. We, we will open ourselves to all participants. Thank you, Lena. I think on the 16th, on Friday, everyone will be um, will focus on it. On your, I think there is a lot of products of Belarus, and I heard about this running tours. I want to participate in it already. Yes. Thank you, Yelena. I want to say. Thanks to all partners, those who uh, want to share uh, information about their country. And, and they also uh, promote businesses in their countries, promote tour agencies and operators during the times when there is no offline meeting. They contribute to communication and they, um, uh, they also contribute to the quickest open of boundaries. So please, I urge everyone here not to be pessimistic about the situation. Because if you have new information, it will be easy for you to recover, to recover the whole industry. Because after the recovery, uh, the whole situation will be different. The countries will be different. The rules of travel will be different. Those people who listen to experts, those who learn now, they will have more advantages comparing to those who do nothing. So, OTM is now open. We will have a lot of interesting discussions today. We will have two wonderful broadcasts. Artem Chumak will uh, talk to Rospotepnadzor, tour agencies, talking about changes in the market in Russia. In 45 minutes, me and Nadia will get back to the broadcast. Uh, we will back on air, we will talk about the changes in the market. So please tune in, don't go anywhere. We will talk with Focus uh, Right, famous um, analytical company.
also PATA Association and Amadeus. And Nadia, on behalf of our analytical center, will present the situation and we'll present the image of today's stories. So please pour some coffee, get ready. We'll see you again and see you. Thank you very much.